you've gone through this, being in the hospital can be a frightening experience. And if the patient is just a child or a teenager, it can actually be much worse. But a doctor at Maimonides Medical Center is working to make their stay a little bit easier. Mary Garofalo explains in tonight's Everyday People. I try to show children and adults uh, their diseases and try to make things easier for them so they can actually understand the diseases. Say hello to Dr. Perry Gerard. He's a medical marvel, a radiologist at Maimonides Hospital, who helps patients by offering them information using balloons as models for body parts. I can show an artificial hip and how the artificial hip is inserted into the femur and how it sits there in the femur and the normal position. So a patient who's gonna undergo an orthopedic procedure will know how the hip is going to be seated within their femur. Dr. Gerard has helped inform patients using balloons for more than 10 years, and it all started as a hobby. I used to make balloon dogs, balloon cats, uh, motorcycles. And uh, when I went to medical school, after that I said, how can I now utilize this art to help people? The answer came quickly once he saw the confused look on patients' faces when medical procedures were being explained. The doctors would draw something out on a piece of paper or show them a complex model, which is really intimidating sometimes. Just ask Diana McCollum. She's a 15-year-old patient diagnosed with lymphoma. She needed a catheter inserted to receive her medication. But how a catheter was inserted confused her. They were going to do an operation and have tubes go through my chest to my heart and have these two tubes hanging out. Diana and her family had many questions about the procedure until Dr. Gerard breezed by with his balloons. I said, let me whip out a balloon. I'll show you exactly what's happening. And that's exactly what he did. Now this vein runs right underneath the bone, which is right over here. That's where they stuck the needle in. And then they ran that tube all the way down to be just above the little balloon heart over here, which is your real heart. So was Dr. Gerard's 3D demonstration a success? Diana's mother thinks so. Before she had a confused um, look when they were just explaining it, but with the balloon, it more, she was more attentive. He told me that like where it goes and where it's gonna be and what goes in it so he explained it pretty well. Now, Dr. Gerard is teaching other doctors, like surgical resident Troy Callahan, how to make frowns turn upside down. It's very important for the patient to understand what's going on with them. I find that when patients know what's going on, they trust you more, and it makes it easier to deal with them. Dr. Gerard says there's no medical disease he cannot explain using balloons, and it's so simple to do. Uh, I'll blow up one round balloon that I have here. Take the round balloon, do a little modeling on the balloon here, push it in, and I come up with a heart. All it takes is some heart and some penny balloons, and Dr. Gerard feels his efforts are always rewarded. My biggest feedback, I get a smile on their face and a shake of a head. What better feedback could you get than that? Mary Garofalo, Fox 5 News. Everyday People, brought to you by Toyota.